Um, this is experiment 278 of interdimensional travel. It has been how many days, Mac? It has been 301 days since your mother disappeared. Right. So I uh, calculated some of her equations, adding a couple of variables to it, but her journals never mentioned a successful trip. But she has to be out there. She has to be somewhere. She wrote that there's a probable opening to travel between different dimensions, which is formed at midnight. Imogen, you have 15 seconds until midnight. Systems are up. Variable coordinates are entered. Attempt 278. Hello? Who, who are you? Stop. What? You need to stop. Stop? You need to stop trying to travel through dimensions. <laughs> Mac? Status? Mac? Stop looking for your mom. You know my mom? I've met her, yes. Your mother was very excited when I first saw her. She was eager to explore something that was not ready for her. I was just as curious about her as well. Where is she? Tell me where she is. I'm only here to give you a warning. What you're doing is dangerous. I don't care. I'm only doing this to get my mom back. There are serious consequences for interdimensional traveling. Rally cannot handle people who do not belong. But you're communicating with me right now. Isn't that just as dangerous? Her mom knew about the consequences. She chose her research over her daughter. Imogen. I can try traveling again. I can find her. Stop. Don't try to travel again. You will damage reality. If you tell me who you are and where my mom is, I won't go. You can call me Emerson. Emerson? Where is my mom? All dimensions are replicas of the other. However, they differ in some ways. There's a replica of everyone in every dimension. Meaning, there's one of you here, and another you elsewhere. But reality doesn't bend to everyone's will. They can't exist all at once. Reality forces them out to keep the balance. What are you saying? I know you've read every line your mother has written about traveling. She wrote every mistake, every thought, and every consequence. Just tell me where she is. Your mother's gone. Like that. Reality swallowed her whole, along with her replica.
How do I know you're telling me the truth? Why would I lie? What happens to me? No mom. No you. Without her, you don't exist. But I'm safe. I didn't leave like her. I'm still in my own dimension. Are you? What? Are you in your dimension? Yeah, I mean, I'm still here. It didn't work. Are you sure? Your mother was very successful in her travels to my dimension, E27. She left this version of her room to venture outside, to explore. That's when I first went into her. I was her first contact from another dimension. I welcomed it though. We came back here so she could brag about her discovery, about you, and about the great life that she could give you. She immediately told me where she was from, and how she did it, and never questioned how strange it was to tell a stranger this. But she was excited to tell someone of her accomplishment. It all sounded appealing. She wanted to be the first, but now, that was my goal. She knew she had to leave quickly, or else she'd cease to exist. But no, I wasn't letting her get away. She began to feel like she couldn't breathe. And the opening to her dimension was closing. However, her dimension had every note every success, every fail, and I knew her daughter had access to it all. How can I be the first if you were still there? You and your replica. 278 tries and you finally made it. I'm glad you didn't notice. Stopping you from traveling back to your dimension was as easy as stopping your mom. All I had to do was talk. And just like your mother, you're gone.